Hi YouTube, this is Natural Lux Diva and before I get started, if you see my face looking a little shiny, I have some moisturizing gel on it. So I decided to leave it on. I hope it doesn't look too bad, but I wanted to go ahead and do this video and get it out. And so if it's okay with you, I'm just going to do my video with a shiny face. I'm back from my trip in Mexico and we had an amazing time. Hey, I want to correct something that I said wrong. I uploaded a video on high-end makeup. Some of the lipsticks that I got from Chanel. I thought I saw an R in that and I said extra T. The right pronunciation is ecstatic and not extra T. I thought I saw an R in there and that was wrong. And when I realized it, I had already uploaded the video. So I just wanted to correct that just in case somebody wanted to order that lipstick. It's called Ecstatic and not Extra Tea. Before I left to go on the trip, I went into TJ Maxx and I was looking for a couple of things to take with me. This is a cute little pouch with a detachable handle by Rebecca Minkoff. And um, I thought I was going to use it on the trip, but there was no need for it. So I'm wondering if I should just keep it. For something later or take it back. I stopped by the Starbucks um, that morning so that we can get coffee before the stores opened up. This is a cute little strawberry frappuccino. I thought that would be a cute little souvenir to bring back. I went into the shoe store and I got something by Aldo. It's a white clear jelly sandal with a little bit of bling and it went well with my outfit and um, these are really nice. I got something by Givenchy. I saw this, I was in love with it, but because it is limited edition, it went fast. And this beautiful La Rouge edition couture lipstick. This is such a beautiful piece really substantial nice and heavy I mean absolutely gorgeous the color is called irresistible fuchsia this is so beautiful and the texture of it feels amazing and Sephora was very generous with their samples so I'm going to show you some of the freebies that I got I got these Dior mascaras I got the Givenchy Mascara in Noir. I took one of the samples with me to Cancun and it gave me a lot of extension on my lashes. I got some more Estee Lauder. I got a facial wash from First Aid Beauty. Then I got this other sample bag. This is called Their Real Remover. So this is like a, a mascara remover. I got a Victor and Roth Flower Balm sample and a DNA sample that's supposed to smooth out wrinkles. I've been on this perfume kick and so I got another one of the sample perfumes. It's the Gucci Guilty. I actually have this perfume in the purse spray. This is what the Gucci Guilty looks like. And I've collected so many of the perfume in the mini bottles and I'm thinking about coming in and doing a video just for all of my little mini perfumes. If you're interested in that just hit the like button. Last but certainly not least, I was able to go to the Louis Vuitton boutique over there and I was really, really excited. There's a wonderful diva on here and I can't think of her name. I think she just got back from a Paris trip and she had done her research and she purchased some beautiful bags over there. And um, I watched her video and I actually commented on it. I can't remember her name, but I will link it down below. She does great videos on beautiful bags as well as accessories and I think you will really like her channel. Okay, the first thing is in this drawer box I have a drawstring bag and I got this gorgeous mini monogram belt and I really love it. If you can see right there it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. I hadn't worn belts for a long time because I had gained some weight and now I've lost a little bit of weight, not a lot, but I actually tried on some jeans and I've used my Michael Kors belt and I was really proud of myself. So as a reward, which is not a big weight loss, but as a reward, I got this belt for me. And my husband wanted me to get the wider one, but I told him I really like the mini belt. I really like this. I like the way it fit. I tried it on in the store. 
So I can't wait to start wearing this. Okay, next is this size box. Here's the dust bag. And I got the Louis Vuitton Pochette NM, which means newer model, and the Damier Azure. I can put quite a bit in here when I'm on the go. It comes with this gorgeous Viqueta leather strap. Side of it is this um, card that they always put in here. And it has the light lining and an extra pocket. When I did get the Speedy 25 Bandolier, I also bought a clay. Really, this clay is just like new because I hadn't been using it. Um, the card is still in there. And the clay is made in France. With the longer strap, I have the option of using this as a shoulder bag as well as a crossbody. It has the adjustable strap, so I'm really excited about that. Also, I have the option of using it with this uh, chain shoulder strap bag that I got for my mini pochette. You can wear this as a shoulder bag as well as a crossbody. She gave me this wonderful magazine and a lot of beautiful pictures inside of it. I can't wait to go through it. It has clothing as well as handbags and some jewelry and as well as some print. I really enjoyed that experience. The sales associate was really nice. Um, the overall trip was just amazing. It was really, really amazing. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll come back on another occasion and show you what fits inside of this bag. So I'm kind of working on my diva room a little bit. It's not much to do, but um, this is actually a different room. I'm upstairs and so we've had so much going on and then sometimes I just don't feel good so I'm just kind of taking my time I won't be doing anything big it's pretty much the way I want it but I want to add a little bit more storage when I get that done I may do a video of what this little small space looks like okay before I go I just want to share with you that I do have another bag that I've been saving up for as I get it I'll be coming in to share I really appreciate all of my subscribers Thank you for the new subbies that I got. And before I go, I would like to say that I'm sending prayers out to all of those who were affected by the flooding or lost loved ones in Houston, Texas. Again, when it affects you, it affects all of us. I just pray that there's no more casualties. I feel like it's my duty to continue to keep them lifted up in prayer. That's it. I hope that your day has been amazing. You all take care. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.